Two Pennsylvania County judges walked solemnly today into U.S. District Court in Scranton. These judges found themselves on the other side of the bench, pleading guilty to a brazen and profitable scheme. Mark Chivarella and Michael Conahan faced fraud and tax charges for allegedly taking $2.6 million in kickbacks, for sentencing thousands of juveniles to detention facilities run by two privately owned companies. Here's how prosecutors say it worked. Young offenders, often with no prior record, were brought before these judges for charges as minor as stealing change from cars or writing prank notes. The judges shipped them off to private detention facilities, which got county money to house them. In exchange, the judges allegedly received money for each offender. They also received payoffs for the initial construction and operation of these juvenile jails. It's just really scary there. Fifteen year old Bernadine Wallace was sentenced to a month in lockup for a threatening note she posted on her MySpace page. After a while I was just thinking to myself, you know, I don't I don't deserve this. I don't think that I did that much wrong. I mean, I'm not a criminal. Civil rights attorneys say thousands may have had their rights violated. Frequently there were no lawyers. Frequently you were told before you were found guilty what the sentence was going to be by the juvenile probation department and you were whisked away. You saw the judges come out of court today. What yeah. are you feeling? Angry. Why? How do they get to walk out with all these charges? When she went in front of them, she got taken out in shackles. Attorneys for the judges refused to comment because a plea agreement has not been finalized. The judges could face at least seven years in federal prison. Seth Doan, CBS News, Scranton, Pennsylvania.